come into the space and I think my whole body just goes, ah, here I am, <laughs> and I feel entirely grounded. It is my studio which is for sort of all my one-to-ones and my own work and the workshops I teach and totally just all about art and it's almost like I shut the door and I'm at home. Being a multidisciplinary artist and having taught for over 10 years now, I do a mixture of everything going from sort of acrylics to oils to printmaking to batik to dye in, watercolours, clay, 3D sort of crafty things. I just love making. I think the element of the unknown as well, of I start something with no expectation of where it's going to end, is you know, part of the joy of being an artist. And my favourite word, serendipity. The unexpected beauty is like the best word in art because you start something with a slight envision of what you think it's going to end up looking like and then it ends up being something entirely different. This is my purpose-built art studio that's in the back of my garden. I create all types of work, anything from sort of photorealistic portraiture to the sort of opposite end of very much sort of interior styled abstract paintings. I also host a range of workshops which can go from anything from clay to oil painting to acrylic painting to sort of surface textiles. I think what is nice about this space is when they're sort of you know getting ready to go at the end of a workshop they always say how much of a calming space it is and that's what I find when I'm making art myself. It is that grounding element of it does take you to a place where you feel really calm and even though you're still thinking lots it's like a therapeutic process that sense of calm which I think is so important these days. I don't sort of plan too much either I sort of come in here in the mornings and I just let it all happen and sort of see where it takes me. Sometimes I get asked you know well, who's your favourite artist but quite honestly I don't I don't actually have one it's just a multitude of of things that I see and things that I love and colours. I use a lot of like neutral tone colours. I will just like look through books and be like, oh that's cool. Oh I could do that. Oh I could do that. And, like my creative head just goes do do all these things that I could actually could actually do. So some of the sketchbooks that I've been working on for years are sort of a multitude of things that I've just found that I like, that I have a connection with and that I want to sort of put into a book and add or create work based on. I do think nature does inspire my work quite a lot. You know, when I go for walks, I'm not the sort of person that just walks and, because I'm going somewhere, I walk and I often close my eyes when I'm walking and I listen and I, you know, I'm, I'm very aware of my senses. And I think nature plays a huge part in that as well, being able to like listen to the birds. It's nice to, to be in here and sort of go back to that very quiet, calm time.